Okay, what's up guys? Brad Campbell, topfatlosstrainer.com, and today we have another strength training burst bout workout for you. Um, this one's going to take about 30 minutes. There's going to be three parts. We're going to start with what I would call a warm-up challenge, and what we're going to do is 50 pull-ups right off the bat. So you just want to do 50 pull-ups, perfect form. Um, do all 50 reps in the shortest amount of time possible. That's the only rule. So you can take a break whenever you need. Um, the only thing is if you can't perform more than six to eight um, perfect form pull-ups uh, with, with your own body, right, body weight with no assistance, um, I want you to go ahead and use some assistance throughout all 50 reps. Otherwise, you're just going to get to where you're doing you know, one or two, then break in, then one or two, then break in. So if you can't do more than six to eight reps at a time with no assistance, go ahead and use a chair, use a bucket, have someone hold your feet and use that assistance and just do all 50. Um, but that's part one, so 50 pull-ups, perfect form, um, time yourself and record your total time, see how long it takes you to do all 50, and then you'll be good and warmed up. Then part two, we're gonna be doing um, renegade rows with a brief rest period, and then just some good old-fashioned fanny kickers rest period. That's one bout. We're going to repeat that whole thing five times. It's going to take 10 minutes. Um, so you're going to be working for a 45 second burst and then a 15 second rest. Then you're going to go into the second exercise, 45 seconds, 15 second rest, and then you're back to the first exercise. So you're going to repeat that for five times, which is 10 minutes. And then we go into part two, where we're going to be doing um, some stiff legged deadlifts into an upright row, so combination movement. Then we're going to do that for 45 seconds rest for 15 seconds, and then we're going to do 180 degree jumps for 45 seconds, rest for 15 seconds, and then we're back to the stiff legged deadlift upright row. Again, five, five full bouts of that, it's going to be 10 minutes. So you have part one, part two, part three, all of them will be about 10 minutes, so about 30 minutes total. And remember, we're working all of the pulling muscles today, so pretty much the back side of the body, you know, the upper back, the rear delts, biceps, forearms, lower back. Uh, we're going to engage the abs quite a bit, and then of course the hamstrings and glutes, um, because Monday we did all the pushing muscles, so keep things nice and balanced here. And um, that's how we're going to rock it out today, so let me get the camera set up and I'll take you through uh, one round of each. Okay, so I'm going to take you through parts two and three. Remember, part one was just 50 pull-ups in the shortest amount of time possible. I'm not going to show you that because it's pretty self-explanatory and I don't want to bore you, but um, let's take you through parts two and three. So remember, we're going to start off with a renegade row. Now, um, if you're a total beginner and this is too hard, you don't have to use dumbbells. You can just hold yourself in plank position and then you're going to flex this arm hard and roll the, roll the opposite arm. Keep the back nice and flat. The trick to this is not to let your hips dip or swing up as you're, as you're rolling the dumbbell up or as you're rolling just your hand up if you're not using dumbbells. Um, so you really want to flex your abs, um, your glutes, and your hands really hard. Keep your back perfectly flat and really work on your balance here. Um, beginners can put your feet out a little bit wider for more balance, but as you get more advanced, I want your hands in right under your shoulders and um, I want your feet in close too, just like you'd be doing a push-up. So, 45 seconds of that, 15 seconds rest, um, and then 45 seconds of fanny kickers, so we're just jogging in place, kicking the butt, um, and then 15 seconds of rest, that's one bout, we're going to repeat five times for 10 minutes, and that's part one, so let me show you one round of part one here, again, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and here's what it looks like, keep that back flat, you're going to flex the right arm really hard, row up the left, set that down, and opposite. So you want to avoid doing this, keep that back flat. So 45 seconds, catch your breath, we've got 15 seconds of rest here, and then we're on to the second exercise, just going to be butt kickers, really exaggerate the motion, get those heels all the way back to the butt, keep the chest out, really pump the arms.
Those are actually tougher than they look. And again, you're using your hamstrings and your glutes there as well. So you've got 15 seconds rest. When it beeps again, we're back to renegade rows. But now, let's pretend we're done with those and we're going to go on to part two. So part two, stiff like a deadlifts. And then do an upright row. Weight is on the heels. Get a good stretch. So that would be the first exercise in part two, obviously, or part, this would be part three actually, but actually I was going a little bit light there just for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna rest 15 seconds, then we're gonna do 180 degree jumps. So start off going to the left, just wanna jump and back. Get all the way around there and back to the front. Try to stay on the tiptoes. Okay, and that's what part three looks like. So, once again, three parts. You got the 50 pull ups, and you have part one renegade rows, rest 15 seconds, butt kickers, rest 15 seconds, repeat five rounds. Then you have part three, which was stiff legged deadlift into an upright row, try to go heavy there, 45 seconds, rest 15 seconds. And you got 45 seconds of 180 degree jumps. Each, each bout you do, you want to reverse the direction. So we start off to the left. Next time we jump to the right and back. Okay? Repeat that five bouts for a total of 10 minutes. There's your 30 minutes, roughly, depending on how long it takes you to do the pull ups. And another awesome strength training workout. So, Brad Campbell, topfatlosstrainer.com. And I'll talk to you on the blog. See you later.